Hi, I'm Lou, and as you may know from my last videos, this is my third attempt at an engine built only with parts from the hardware store. I'm getting a lot closer, but it's not quite done yet, and I still need your help. I've changed my design from a two-cycle to a four-cycle engine, and I've changed my fuel from propane to gasoline. Here is my gas tank slash carburetor. Air comes in through here, bubbles through the gas, and goes back out to the intake. And this is essentially a choke. When it's open like that, I have more air coming in. And when I choke it like that, it's got more gas coming through. Watch how the gas bubbles as I turn the engine. My intake manifold has a check valve that only lets the fuel-air mixture go this way. My exhaust manifold has a check valve that only lets the exhaust gases go that way. This last valve closes off the exhaust manifold during the compression and combustion strokes. My source of spark is a grill igniter that goes through this homemade spark plug into the head of the cylinder. And it's triggered by this switch here. Over here I've added two gears. This one has 10 teeth and this one has 20. So you get a 2 to 1 ratio between the rotations, which is perfect for pulling the spark at the right time and opening and closing this valve. Here's some footage from several of my trial runs. I'm trying some starter fluid. I was getting a lot of backfire because my spark was happening too early, so I moved it from over here to up here. So you'll notice that when I spin it around, it's going to spark right there, which is about what I want. Now I'm going to try with the gas tank slash carburetor completely off and just using starting fluid. I also made this drill into a starter motor. Thank you for watching. I would appreciate any ideas you can give me to get this thing going.